Now, the Saturday Superlatives turns to tight ends. Now, a lot of the attention has been to UCLA's uh, Greg Duflich, and deservedly so. It's a really good player. I think there's a lot of other tight ends that are equally deserving of attention, and some, one or two, that I think might actually be more deserving. I'm going to start with Tyreek James, who had a really good game against a pretty darn good defense. Uh, so, when you know you played Tulane, I thought he was one of the most dynamic parts of Tulane's offense. He had six catches for 93 yards, and once again, it's a tight end we're talking about, including a 43-yard catch, catch and run. He looks very good. Uh, I'm thinking he's probably about a 4.66, give or take a couple of hundreds either way. Uh, he's 6'2", 245. He has really good hands, and like I said, really good after the catch. Payne Durham of Purdue, uh, I don't know why he's not getting more love and attention. Uh, he went absolutely off uh, the last time I saw him. Uh, seven catches, 120 yards, two touchdowns. He's a decent enough blocker, too. He's got a big body. He's about 6'4", and probably about 3 eighths, about 252 pounds. And he's decent sized. Uh, I have to also make mention of a special mention of Grant Calcaterra, who a couple of years ago was forced to retire medically uh, while he was at Oklahoma. He's back at SMU, and he's showing that, you know, the love of the game is bringing him back. Teams will have to very be, caref be careful about it with his medical, but three catches, 51 yards, and a touchdown. Uh, obviously, that's two touchdowns, sorry, versus Abilene Christian. It's a lower level competition, but he, he looked good. Uh, Trey Berry, this is a guy you put a gold star by side. Another one of those uh, former quarterbacks, he was great at Jacksonville State. He's up transferred, right? Higher level competition now at Boston College. Still looks really good. Five catches, 98 yards, a touchdown, a long catch and run of 44. Uh, he also had a 51-yarder against Colgate. That's a lower level competition, but he looks really good. And, you know, UMass isn't a world beater either, but he, he they had no answers for Trey Berry. And the last tight end I'm going to mention, at least right now, is a guy that I, I love. <laughs> I'm one of my favorites. Uh, Sean Dykes at Memphis is that modern, quote-unquote, modern tight end. Not the biggest guy in the world, but probably about 243 pounds, probably about six two and a quarter. But once again, hands, speed, a real problem uh, to match up. He runs wheel routes. He runs digs. He runs, you know, deep outs. He runs a pretty wide range of uh, routes for a tight end, as long as a, well as all the classic tight end routes. But against Arkansas State, nine catches, 143 yards and two touchdowns, and including a long catch and run of 40 yards. And like it, another guy I'm thinking is, might come in under 4'6", you know, 4'6", 2", once again, give or take, maybe four one-hundredths of a second either way. Those are my 